All right, you guys, welcome to our new product GTC 2020 training with Director of Field Training and Communications, Michelle Lopes. We are going to be talking about all the incredible new products that were launched at GTC 2020. So Michelle, without further ado, take it away. All right, again, thank you guys. I wanna start by talking about the products that I think everybody is talking about the most. Intercom. And of course, the friends to that, the Supercom collection. These products, I think, have probably been the most revolutionary, if you'll forgive the term, of anything that we've done in a really, really long time. And I don't know if everybody's had the chance to see the clinicals. They're not available internationally yet because they came in so quickly right before we went into launch and we pulled these together as fast as we could. But Intercom, oh my God, when you combine Inner and Supercom, let's talk about that. After four weeks of using the regimen together, people saw a 20% reduction in the appearance of skin tone redness. All the blotchiness and the uneven tone that's associated with skin that's reactive was reduced by 20% in the participants. We saw a significant reduction in the appearance of brown spots, again, contributing to that uneven tone, improvement overall in skin hydration, 40% better, 40, that's huge in clinical grading, to replenish the skin's moisture barrier, which again, in skin that's become reactive, that's huge. And when it comes to the super calm, improvement in feelings of self-esteem, overall mood, and mental clarity. It's overall a winner, clinically shown. And after just one week of the group that just used the intercom, wasn't even testing it with the skincare, they saw significant improvement in their sleep quality, which includes falling asleep faster after laying down and sleeping more continuously through the night. Now, one thing I want to make clear, there is no ingredients in this product that makes it drowsy. You can take this in the morning with your inner calm. You can take it at nighttime. There's really no right or wrong way to take it, but because it helps to calm your mind and the feelings that you're having for people that are struggling to relax, to sleep and calm their mind, this is perfect for that. It's not going to make you sleepy, but it's going to allow your mind to get ready for sleep. So very exciting and really big difference there. I think, you know, obviously the hero in this product without a doubt is the ashwagandha, which is an adaptogen. And a lot of people have asked about adaptogens. You might remember that Fizstix also has adaptogens. There was an adaptogen that was removed from the Fizstix when we did the updated formulation, and I know everybody misses it. However, there are still adaptogenic botanicals in Fizstix today. That's part of why it gives you such a great sensation. And obviously, ashwagandha, both the root and the leaf extract, it's in Intercom in both forms, are in there, um, which an adaptogen basically just helps your body to feel well. It supports overall feelings of well-being in a very general way. And ashwagandha not only does that, but it's obviously been studied and shown to support management of stress, which is what we're trying to deal with here. And the saffron, which actually comes from Spain, is typically used to support a more balanced mood. And the same with the L-theanine, which this actually comes from tea leaves. And again, it's promoting that sense of calm and relaxation. So, so important for everybody to be able to have that when they need it. And the beauty is, again, I'm gonna stress this, there's no right or wrong time. I've had questions on the intercom, can it go in a tea? It can, but it should not go into a cup of tea that's boiling hot. Um, that's really important. If the tea or any liquid that you put it in is at a boiling level, it's gonna impact the efficacy of the botanicals. It's not gonna mean that it will do nothing, but it won't give you the maximum benefit from it. So we recommend making your tea allowing it to cool off just a little bit and then adding the inner calm at that point. But for some people, the morning is going to be best because, you know, you wake up and there's a million things going on and you've got the kids and you're racing around and your heart starts pounding and your adrenaline's going. And that's when you need to be able to slow down and focus your mind and figure out your to-do list. And that's when you might find that for you, you benefit. For some people, it's the middle of the day when things start to build up on you. And for some people, it's going to be the end. But there's really no right or wrong way to approach it. 
And then um, we, of course, will talk about these products together, Inner and Super Calm, because they are the heroes and we tested it together. You have Super Calm with the vegan cleansing milk, the skin relief serum, I've got my little products, and then of course, the soothing hydrator, all of which are absolutely incredible together in combination. And when you looked at the study results here, Super Calm all by itself was incredible at supporting a more even skin tone and hydration. 30% improvement just after one week of using Super Calm by itself to replenish that skin's moisture barrier. But after four weeks, participants saw a significant reduction in the appearance of brown spots and that uneven skin tone. And 100% of the participants, perfect score. You know, I love it. I'm not at all competitive, but perfect score. 100% of the participants said that their skin felt touchable, soft, and smooth. And even more exciting, as I said, was using them together and seeing that reduction in the skin blotchiness, redness, the uneven skin tone, and even greater improvement in hydration once it's been used for up to four weeks. So we have some home run products here, absolutely for sure. But I think what's really exciting is the key ingredients that are in it. There's Mexicana Agastache extract, which is across just about all of these. It's kind of a mouthful, but basically what that does is it supports your skin's moisture barrier. That's the hero ingredient when it comes to making sure that your skin has that radiance and softness and smoothness that's absolutely so important and that sensitized skin can struggle with. But the ingredient that's in the name is the tiger grass extract. But here's something that's fun. Tiger grass extract is also known as go-to cola. And some of you might recognize that ingredient because guess what? It's in our skin elixir. Now, obviously it's a different form of the ingredient. One is ingestible, one is topical, but both of them are there because it's that whole inside out story, mind, body, and skin. The clinical results bring it together here. And that's why I wanna highlight that ingredient for you because it's yet another product where you're seeing the crossover of the ingredients. But the tiger grass extract really supports the skin's balance while soothing and comforting it. And that's where that old fun story came from that legend had it, that the name came when people actually saw tigers in that type of grass rolling around and thought it was healing the wounds and the irritation on their skin. So pretty incredible. And then in the Super Calm, there's also a probiotic ingredient, lysate, which supports the skin's renewal process, the moisture barrier function, which is what helps to keep the hydration in. And it also helps to support a very light level of natural exfoliation which why that's important in irritated or sensitized skin is because it actually helps to make sure that anything that's become drier from irritation on the surface is turned over a little bit more easily without adding any of the drying or irritation. Um, so I think I'll pause here, Taylor, because I see the chat going crazy. Do you want to tell me what's on people's mind? Absolutely. Okay. So one of the most common questions we've gotten so far that you kind of touched on, but maybe touch on again, um, the time of day, specifically when it comes to the sleeping better claims that we've made, um, how, how does that work? Do you only take it at night and you get the better sleep or can you take it any time of day and get better sleep? You can take it any time of day because what it does is it helps, again, to slow your mind and your racing thoughts. And everybody is different in that way. For me, I know I am guilty, guilty of this where I lay down and I'm a major achiever type personality with heavy responsibility. And so I start thinking at that point when I should be trying to relax for sleep of all the things on my to-do list that I did get done, that I didn't get done, that I wish I had done better or differently. And I think a lot of us in this kind of category are, are that sort of personality. So for us, the intercom in the evening might be really beneficial where otherwise there are points during the day where I can kind of keep it together. I don't have small kids anymore, um, although Rev is 
on the other side of the country. If he was here, that would be different. That's my little grandson in case anybody doesn't know at this point. Um, so for me at nighttime, but there's a lot of other MVPs that I've spoken to that find it incredibly valuable to take it during the daytime. I've even heard some people are mixing it with fizz. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that as long as you're using enough liquid whenever you mix any of our powders, enough liquid per the directions of use for each product so that it's fully blended in together. Um, so so it's what works for you. For some people, it might sound counterintuitive to do fizz, which is about energy, and inner calm, which is about just relaxation and focus, but the two together can help achieve that balanced state for some people. So play around and find what works best for you. So another question is, can you take it twice a day, in the morning and in the evening? And somebody said, for real, how many times can I take this in a day? What I have been told by our experts is that more than once a day is not going to change the effectiveness of the product. Once a day is enough. The botanicals become bioavailable into your body. Um, this is where gut health is so important too. Again, I'm going to say this over and over. It literally is all connected because your gut is able to take anything that you're consuming and send the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and beneficial botanicals out to the places where it needs to go to do what what it needs to do to help your body function optimally. And in this case, your neurological system is a big part of what Intercom is supporting and the botanicals will get to there, but once a day is really all you need. Okay. Um, now there was a question about age. Can you give it to teens um, or younger? It's a great question. I've gotten this a ton over the weekend. All of our nutrition products as of right now are formulated and tested for ages 18 and above. That doesn't mean that it's unsafe for anybody younger. It just means that that hasn't been tested that way and we haven't done the directions of use for a younger person. And obviously children are not only physically smaller in size and weight, but they have different needs as they're at different growth stages. So it's important to check in with a pediatrician to find out not only if the product is right for them, but also the right directions for use. For example, you know, it might not be one scoop for a child. It might be a half a scoop or even a quarter of a scoop and that's what we can't say. So it would be irresponsible for us to recommend. I'm gonna just jump in on this too because it comes up all the time. It's the same with health conditions and that includes pregnancy and nursing. This isn't just a cover or fannies kind of an answer when we give it, you guys. When my daughter was pregnant last year, I literally told her the same thing when she was sitting with Dr. Tanda and I um, at dinner last year at GTC and asking, can I still use fizz sticks while I'm pregnant? And this new skin elixir, can I have that too? And we both looked at her and said at the same time, ask your own doctor. And that was even with Dr. Tanda sitting there. And that's because everyone's situation is unique, their health history, their background, and their doctor's opinions on certain things, particularly botanicals and natural supplements. So different doctors will have different opinions. They might say with certain health conditions, certain botanicals are not advisable, whereas you'll hear a different doctor say exactly the opposite. So we aren't the medical professionals and we need to defer to them. Okay. So we have one more question about Intercom and then we will move on to Supercom. How long do the effects of Intercom last? Everybody's different. It really depends on the person. It depends the way you're wired, the level of energy that you have. And it's about perception, right? Because what it's impacting is your feeling. It's not actually a medical grade product. So it's not a sedative. Um, we saw some very naughty posts come out over the weekend where someone referred to it as Xanax. It is not. It's not a medical grade product. So for everyone, your perception of how it's impacting your feelings will be a little bit different and how long it lasts will be different for everybody. Um, I just want to really quick before we move on, Taylor, I saw Jody saying about Fizz canceling it out. No, Jody, Fizz doesn't necessarily cancel it out. For me, it wouldn't be the way I would enjoy taking it because when I'm taking my Fizz or enjoying and drinking my Fizz, I should say, not taking it, I'm looking to get like my day going and get that energy started. Whereas I'm looking for the inner calm to help actually calm and relax my mind. So two completely separate things, but I've had people have great results with it because what they're looking for is something that helps to balance them out just a little bit. So either way works. It's about what's right for you. 
Now we have one more question about intercom. Um, is it best to be taken daily or just when needed? I would say daily is probably your best because that's what's going to help keep everything in regulation so that your body, your neurological system, everything is ticking along and functioning at an optimal level. When you give it consistent support, I think for me, that's what we found gives you the best results. Whereas when you come in and out as needed, again, this isn't a treatment product and some people don't even necessarily notice anything in the first day. It's a cumulative effect. Okay. And Carlita would like to know what the difference is between Mind Health and Intercom and how they help us differently. Carlita, good question. All right, Mind Health is really about the thought process and your body's ability to process information and really not just fundamental neurological function, but truly the ability to focus concentration, memorization, all of that. It just it gives you that little bit of an edge so that your neurological and cognitive functions are at their sharpest, most optimal level. For different people, that's different for everybody. Again, it's not a medication. We're not making any kind of a health improvement claim, but it, it sharpens your cognitive abilities. Inner calm is actually softening your perception and helping to slow your thoughts and helping to give you a feeling of relief from those feelings of anxiety and the racing heart and the racing thoughts. Again, it's how you perceive it, but it's giving you a little bit of a different focus. So hopefully that makes sense, Carlita. All right, so moving on to super calm and inner calm together. Uh, for the brown spot claim, um, should, and, and really just to help brown spots, should you just take uh, super or use super calm and intercom or should you incorporate that into your existing RE9 regimen? And on top of that, how would you incorporate super calm into an RE9 or any existing regimen? That's like a quadruple question, Taylor. You put them all together. Um, well, here's the thing. For the clinicals, if you're looking at the results and you want to claim it, the way the study was done is the only way that we can make the claims. And that was with participants using the full regimen, which is the, the vegan cleansing milk, the serum, and the hydrator morning and night in addition to the inner calm once a day. And that's what gave us those claims. So if you're looking to be able to see some have those exact same results, then you need to give them the same regimen. So that's it in terms of claims and getting those same results. Now, in terms of incorporating into an existing regimen, absolutely. Here's the thing. I find for me, my skin is oily, so not every cleanser works for everybody. I actually love the Biohydra or the Brightening cleansers more because they're foaming, so it gives me kind of that feeling that it's giving a deeper cleanse on my skin, but I definitely have healthy aging concerns as I'm getting up there a little bit, although we don't need to talk about that. Um, so I will be using my RE9 serum and my RE9 eye cream because those will give me those powerhouse combinations of those botanicals to support healthy aging and the, the needs of the skin in that area. Where I would incorporate super calm, if somebody is having sensitized skin, drier skin reactivity, this cleansing milk is unbelievable. You can use it with or without water. So if for some people, if you are really sensitized and dry, even just warm water when you're wiping or, you know, cleansing off the, the product on your face, it can add to some irritation. So tissuing it off gently is incredible and still gives you that wonderful feeling of clean and readies it for the next step without oversensitizing it. So you can absolutely swap this cleanser out with an existing regimen if that applies to you whenever. It's not necessarily that's got to be one or the other. You might do one in the morning and one at night because that's what works best for your skin's needs or you might do it situationally. The the serum is incredibly soothing and comforting for the skin. It's also incredible fun tip if you put it in the fridge with summertime coming, when your skin gets a little bit more sensitized and irritated from sun's rays and UVA, UVB, it just feels good and it's got a cooling effect, especially if you've cooled off the gel a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a creamy gel, but you get the idea. Um, so you can absolutely use that 
let it dry off while you do your eye cream and then go back and still layer your RE9 or your brightening serum on top of it so that you get the benefits of the soothing comfort and still then the benefits of the healthy aging. Just remember though, that if you're going to be layering products, you want to allow them to dry off completely in between the layers. You don't want to do one serum immediately followed by the other because it doesn't give your skin a chance to take in the benefits that you're putting on. And then the soothing hydrator, I would say, is really about somebody who's trying to calm sensitized skin. So if you're finding situationally that that's where you are, then you can use that instead of your day or night cream. Um, and then just make sure if it's day that you're absolutely putting an SPF on top of it because if you're already sensitized, the last thing you want to do is ever go outside without um, your SPF protection. So super important there. All right. Thank you, Michelle. So uh, we know that Super Calm is replacing the current Calm line. Can you talk about the difference between those two lines? Night and day. Um, this is completely new formulation technology and advanced ingredients that science and research have brought to us over the years. When the a, 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 traditional or original calm line was created, we didn't have access to be able to harness into sustainably sourced ingredients like we're using in super calm, nor did we have the ability to access and harness the power of those botanicals the way we do today. That's all through scientific advancement. So these are more potent ingredients. They're at incredibly efficacious levels and they really deliver effective results, which you can see in the study. So can Supercom become your primary skincare line without using anything else? Absolutely. If your skin's primary need is calming and controlling sensitivity and reactivity, then this is 100% the line for you. It's a complete regimen on its own. The only thing that's missing is an eye cream or eye gel, which I would absolutely add in if it's hydration that you need, which a lot of times sensitized skin does. Biohydria eye gel would be incredible in combination with the Super Calm collection. But if you're also looking for healthy aging support, especially with the thinner, delicate skin around the eyes, you can add in the RE or the brightening eye cream. And yes, Robin, it is missing an SPF. That's because for some people that are exceptionally sensitized, SPF can cause some reactivity. So we will leave it to them to figure out, maybe in partnership with their dermatologist, what might be the right product for them. But we just do want to make sure that we've got some sun protective measures on there. We did not want to add anything into these products, though, that would impact their calming and soothing effects. Okay. So uh, we have a question about a specific product, the Calm, Super Calm Hydrator. How is that different than um, the, the Biohydria Moisturizer? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. Biohydria is about pure and simple hydration. It's addressing the needs of dehydrated skin. And even oily skin like mine that is not in any way, shape, or form, anything that I would describe as dry can become dehydrated due to pollution, environment, medication, uh, not enough sleep. I mean, there's so many different things that dehydrate our skin in addition to just plain and simple not getting enough water and other electrolytes and things that you consume internally. Um, whereas the Calm, Super Calm Hydrator is really about soothing reactivity. So it's helping not just to add hydration like the Biohydria does, but also to support the skin's moisture barrier, which is that protective layer that helps defend against the reactivity, the dryness, the look of irritation and sensitivity that that type of skin will get. Whereas the Biohydria is plain and simple, pure, incredible, like water weight drink of hydration. All right. We're getting a lot of questions about the no rinse cleanser. What's the technology behind that that allows us to do that? And uh, on top of that, there was a question about how could you remove makeup if you weren't washing that off afterwards? 
everybody's skin is different. You can tissue off makeup. You know, if you're using a makeup remover, you're essentially doing it without water. You're putting it on a cotton ball and then tissuing it off with the product. It's the same idea in terms of removing the makeup, but it's actually from that perspective, it's an older principle. If uh, people remember, and now I'm going to really show my age, but if you had moms who use like a cold cream at night to take off their makeup and, and cleanse their skin, it's that same idea. The cold cream um, a million years ago in an oily, greasy, and not desirable form, but was basically going on and removing any dirt, oils, makeup, et cetera, from the skin. This is delivering the same type of a result in a much more modernized, lightweight, efficacious world um, that's giving beneficial hydration and not that oily greasiness that Pons was. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. How long does the Super Calm set last if you were using it two times a day? It's going to be same as RE9. It's about a month and a half to two months for the set if you're using it as directed in terms of the amount of pumps. Um, for some people, when your skin is sensitized, you might use a little bit extra. So people might feel like they go through it faster because your skin's a little bit more thirsty. But that's the average that we planned on. Okay. Uh, now, for our testing, did we test the Super Calm line mostly on people with sensitive skin, or did we test it on people with normal skin as well? Uh, we compared it to baseline. So baseline was people that were showing redness and sensitivity self-reported. Um, but all of the clinical results when it comes to the skincare grading and perception measures are against the baseline, which is how their skin started. So the improvements that you're seeing are significant improvements in people that weren't showing those things to begin with. Okay. Now, uh, what is your recommendation? You might've said this already uh, about an eye cream for sensitive skin. And if someone is too sensitive for our existing eye creams, uh, do we have plans to, to make a, a sensitive skin eye cream? You never say never. Who knows what's coming down the road? But for right now, what I would recommend for starters really is the biohydria because it's, it's just such a simple, lightweight, water weight. If they're too sensitive for that, um, then it could be that at that point, you want to keep any kind of a cream to the orbital bone at the lower end. So like right here and not any closer and up at the brow line and above. And in that case, then that can be your hydrator and your serum that's doing that for you. You just won't put anything directly in the eye area. And there are some people that that's better for them. The pulse and the way your blood and your circulation goes in your face will actually bring the hydration up higher. So even when you're using an eye cream, you shouldn't you know, put it literally up to your lash line. It's not ideal because it can move and get into your eyes and cause a little bit of irritation. But for somebody that can't tolerate any of them, they might just try staying much lower down. All right. And then the last question we have for Supercom is, will we have samples? Uh, yes, actually, I believe we are working on a PC sampling program right now. Am I losing my mind, Taylor? That sounds familiar. It does sound familiar. I just can't remember if it's in all countries or not. It is definitely going on in Australia. Um, but if it's not, there, there will be calm samples. They are looking at, and, and I'll say this in general, we are definitely looking at more sustainable packaging options. The challenge with samples isn't that we all understand how, how urgently our type of business needs that, but it's trying to do it in a responsible way that uses the smartest packaging choices. And so that's kind of the balance that we're trying to find right now. Yes, BJ, good. Okay, see, there are samples going on with the cleansing milk right now. Thank you, BJ. I knew I wasn't losing my mind. Perfect. All right, well, I think it's time to move on to True Style. Michelle, let's talk about True Style. Okay, it's time to find your style. So we have curl cream, we have pomade, and we have the incredible anti-frizz dry oil with piqui oil in it. Unbelievable, you guys. And I think you've seen the pictures on social. For me, with the hair products, these tell the story. 
And we know that there are people who were not incredibly in love, we'll just say, with some of our uh, true hair products, the shampoo and the conditioner were challenging for some people to use. They were a little bit difficult to get out of certain hair types and give you that feeling of clean. These products could not be more the opposite. And I think you saw that last fall with the launch of the hair mask and continues in an even greater way with these collection of products. The anti-frizz dry oil, literally like the tiniest little dab. And that's why this bottle is so tiny. It's not meant to be a gotcha. You just need the tiniest amount on your fingertips, run it through the hair. Not only does it help control the frizz and all those little baby hairs that make me crazy, especially when I use a heat styling tool, but it also gives you thermal heat protection to help protect against breakage and damage, which is so important. Um, and the Pequi oil is really a hero in this. It's a form of vitamin A, and it really is the hero that's minimizing the look of frizz and helping to keep the style kind of calm and smooth and doing what it's supposed to do. And then on the other end of things is the curl cream. Now the hero ingredient in here is our sustainably sourced shea butter, but there is still argan oil in this. So you're getting some of that. And from the True Style collection, the heroes, pea protein, sustainably sourced baobab, and here's another crossover ingredient, maybe you don't remember, but in true hair also, ashwagandha root is in the curl cream and it's in our true hair products. Again, different form, one's going in, the other's going on, but it's doing the same idea in terms of conditioning to re reduce the effects this time of environmental stress. So it's not neurological stress, but environmental stress that happens and hits our hair. And it absolutely does have an incredible result for that. And then of course we have the fabulous pomade, which is not just for men, although we've had some men that are absolutely in love with it. This also has shea butter in it um, and the pea protein and the baobab and the ashwagandha and the argan oil. So it's got a little bit of everything. But here's what's fun about these products. You could literally layer them together. If you were somebody who had curly hair, you could start off with the curl cream. And then as you styled your hair, whether it was with a diffuser or you know a natural style, you could then add the pomade just where you needed it to add a little texture to the front so that the curls behaved and kind of sat the way you wanted to, to frame your face. And then your peak blue oil could get your baby hairs just right on the top. So you could literally layer the products together as you see fit. Um, so they're wonderful that way and they're lightweight enough that they're not gonna step on top of each other. Just about all of them can be used wet or or dry, it really doesn't matter. It depends on what kind of style you're trying to get and how you really want to play with it. So what questions do we have? All right. So uh, is the anti-frizz oil for chlorine exposure? Oh, well, it's for all hair types. It's not specifically been tested to do anything to protect against if you've used particularly like a hair color or if you've got blonde hair and the chlorine is really at a harsh level. Um, this isn't meant to protect against stripping of color and things like that, but it is meant to protect against environmental and heat damage more. Okay. Um, would you recommend applying the oil to dry or damp hair? You could do either. I mean, you really could. I've used it on myself um, on wet hair, like right out of the little turby that I take off to try to towel dry as much as I can and use the oil and the curl cream together because there's days when I'm not trying to pull myself together quite as much for a Zoom and I have weird curls that aren't cute. They want to go in 20 different directions, but um, I leaned into the curls one day and gave it a try and I did the curl cream and then I blended in a little drop of the peakly oil afterwards and then allowed my hair to dry naturally and it was gorgeous. Um, the curls actually behaved. They weren't standing up. God help me. Um, I don't know that it's definitely something I could do again because I don't know how it happened. It just sort of was on its own but um, I think uh, you can definitely play around with it. Um, what about the leave-in treatment, the, the daily the daily leave-in treatment. Does that go on first and then the oil? 
that would go on first because that's kind of your basic leave-in conditioner and then you layer your styling products on top of that and the order really doesn't matter that you're using them in it depends what kind of an effect you're trying to get out of it if your primary purpose is curls then you're going to be using a little bit more of the curl cream and that's going to be where you start if your primary purpose is smoothing and controlling the frizz then i would really just do the pickly oil first in the wet hair style and then and adjust with the additional products as you need to as you're finishing off your style when it's almost completely dry or just slightly damp. What's the specific amount of each product that you would recommend using? It depends. With this, I'm not kidding you, like a drop, like a pea is enough of a little oil, if, if even that much. It's just the tiniest amount. With the pomade, it's also pretty powerful. So for me, when I'm doing it, I'm just trying to get these hairs to behave that are wispy and shorter and broken in the front. So I'm using just a tiny amount on my fingertips. I know for some men that are using it all the way through to truly style shorter hair, they like just like a little dab in their palm, you know, maybe closer to a nickel amount, maybe a little bit more than that. And with the curl cream, I'm a little more generous if I'm really trying to go for curl. And it depends on how long your hair is too, but I'd probably go closer to about a quarter size amount of this. Okay. Uh, for the curl cream, would you apply it and then scrunch or would you run it through your hair almost with a brush or with a comb? When I did it, I applied it and then scratched, but I did the brush and the comb uh, first with the leave-in treatment, um, and then I did the curl cream and scratched. Okay. And then for the curl cream and the oil, do you recommend more on the ends, or can that go all throughout your hair, even to the root? It can go all throughout your hair. It depends. I mean, my hair is really thin and fine, so I'm careful not to put too much of something. So I tend to concentrate away from the roots and do more at the ends and the front and stuff like that. But you can absolutely play with it. The products are so lightweight. Um, the only thing that you can really use way too much of is the oil because it is so potent, much more than a drop. And you know, it, it will be probably a bit more than what your hair needs. But that's why we put it in such a tiny bottle so that you can remember just a drop will do it. And yeah, Kelly, you have some of the thickest hair I've ever seen. So yes, I would think you probably do need a little extra product. You and Kristen Walter, and there's a couple of other people that have thick and gorgeous hair that I think probably need just a little extra use. Last question, Michelle, will curl cream hold curls in straight hair? Um, it certainly can. I find that it's got staying power now it's not a hair spray so if you've used a curling iron and you have stick straight hair and you're trying to get the curl cream to hold the curls it's going to be better than having used nothing but you still probably need some kind of a setting product to really help finish it off um, and that's where the pomade even might be able to give a little bit of a help not all the way through the hair but again just in the textured parts all right I believe that is the last of our True Style questions. So I think it is time to move on to the Botaniques uh, Concentrated Shower Gel. Okay, Botaniques time. Well, there's not too much to say about these little guys, except if you've tried them, you know that they smell incredible. You've got apricot and apple, um, but one thing I want to make super, super clear, because we get this question all the time, fragrance that we use in any of our products is only ever naturally derived from botanicals and essential oils. You'll see on the ingredient list, there's an asterisk now on all of the newer products. And that statement of what I just shared is right underneath it. We're trying to be transparent. We want to make sure that that message is loud and clear. Same with natural flavors, though. The natural flavors and the, the naturally derived fragrance is not something that we share every ingredient of because it is proprietary. We have to have some secrets to be able to keep our advantage over the competition. So if you have an allergy concern, you can always ask us if a specific ingredient is in the product. Customer service can help with that, or you guys as national vice presidents sometimes know how to find me directly, but customer service is your best resource, and they can get the information to you and confirm or deny whether or not an ingredient's there, so somebody with an allergy concern can be protected. But what's so awesome, talk about how much do you use a drop. 
And I find that for using these, if you use like a loofah or some type of a push or a washcloth in the shower, it helps because it allows it to foam up because a little tiny bit really does foam. But if you use a more traditional amount of the product, similar to what you might use with another body wash, you're not going to get anywhere close to the 40 showers out of those little bottles. You've got to use it conservatively. And we have gotten the question, well, can I use it like a concentrate and add water and put it in a larger container and use it more normally? That's not what the product is formulated to do. We deliberately use less, less water from a sustainability perspective and adding water in, it, it's not a formula that's meant to expand that way. All right. Um, there, there was one comment about a bubble bath. I just want to touch on that, Michelle. You're smiling because you know where I'm going with this. Can you talk about why we can't actually say that? It hasn't been gynecologically tested. Um, if we are going to claim that something can go in a bathtub, then in order to be able to claim that safely, we have to have done gynecological testing on it. Because this was intended as a shower gel, we did not do that testing. It's not to say that it wouldn't be safe. It, it certainly is formulated to all of our same standards, but in full transparency, that testing wasn't done. And speaking of transparency, just to answer Beth, um, if you search the ingredient list, no, those botanical or essential oils ingredients in the fragrance or the natural flavors will not come up because they're part of the proprietary blend. They're not found in the ingredient list and the ingredient list is what is sourced for that information that drives that website tool. So that's got to be something that you come to us separate for. With that said, I, I don't see many questions about Botanique. So I am going to open this up now to our miscellaneous question section. So uh, you are now all free to ask any questions about any products. Uh, we should probably stick to the new products, but I, I don't know if you will, and that's okay. So go ahead and... And time limit, right, Taylor? We do. We are supposed to end at two. We have about 15 minutes left, so uh, we do have 15 minutes to answer any other questions. Well, I know Gultaj asked a question right at the beginning about the amino acid score. We have gotten that question. Actually, even I want to say in the last couple of days, somebody asked me that. So what I do want to say is obviously our Arbonne protein shakes is coming from a highly absorbable, easily digestible protein source from the peas are probably the most of the digestible along with the rice and the cranberry proteins. But when you look at the current measure of protein quality, that used to be a PDC AAS score or protein digestibility corrected amino acid score. Um, but whey and soy proteins actually score the highest in terms of digestibility, while plant proteins tend to come in just a little bit lower. So our protein shakes were calculated to have a score that was still very high, but not quite at 100. So digestibility and complete amino acid score are also impacted by your health, your age, medications that you might take. There's so many other factors, but that's why we aren't saying that we have a complete amino acid profile. It doesn't meet the current scoring standards and it hasn't for quite some time. Since I've been here in the last six years, we haven't been making that claim because of the way standards and testing um, have come apart and changed. So hopefully that helps to answer Goltage. Dextrose is from non-GMO corn and it's actually the replacement in physics for the maltodextrin. So it's not something that causes a spike in insulin in someone who's otherwise got balanced blood sugar and is at a healthy level. So it is a safe ingredient. Michelle, yeah. I'm, I'm going to continue to read the questions just because we've gotten so many so far. So oh. Uh, there, some clients are concerned when they read natural flavors in an ingredient list. Uh, what, what can we do to reassure the clients that we don't use flavor enhancers like MSG? Uh, absolutely. You can take the shareable answer from the source. If you plug in natural flavors into the search bar on the source, you get the full, complete mouthful of an explanation of exactly what natural flavors by legal definition can and cannot consist of. And you can absolutely click that share button and send the FAQ directly to them. You don't have to memorize anything. And then they've got the information straight from Arbonne. Speaking of the source, where can they find the clinical studies for calm? Oh, trending this week. Allison has done an incredible job. Shout out to 
Allison, who's on this call too, probably hiding away, but everything for all of the new products is organized together in Trending This Week, so you don't have to go look for anything. But down the road, if you're trying to find it a couple months from now, you can put clinical into the search results, and this would be one of the keywords on that document. It would absolutely come up for you. So we have a very involved question here. I'm going to go for it. Uh, for the lip gloss, why do we use yellow five lake, blue one lake, and red 28 lake as opposed to naturally sourced options that are deemed safer? Well, this is interesting actually, because although those ingredients have names that are similar to um, dyes that are absolutely known to be in some cases harmful and definitely not beneficial, um, they are not. Any of the colorants that we use, and you can actually find this information if you type in colorant in the source, you'll get the full FAQ, but they are pigments as opposed to dye. Pigments are both scientific and naturally derived colors that enhance the skin but do not stain it. Dye stain, stains the skin. And so there is the factor with the, those lakes and things like that, those types of colorants when they are dyes where there is a concern. These are all pigments that we're using and we use them at just the most effective level to deliver the visual impact of the color and the payoff and the wearability without any type of a concern that it's, it's approaching a level that you would be not wanting to have. And again, pigment not dye on top of that. But I want to say too that just because something is a scientific ingredient, I think this is so important that everybody understands, doesn't make it bad that it's not naturally or plant derived. The, proudest part of Arbonne is that we've always, from Petter's time, used the best of science and nature. And you guys, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's good. Ragweed is made by nature. I would not want to go outside and go find it and ingest some or rub it all over my face. It would not feel very good. I have bad allergies. So you have to know that that's where our scientists come in. They do the testing, they do the research. You've heard me talk about how strict our ingredient policy is and how strict and involved our testing standards are for all of our ingredients and all of our products above and beyond what the industry standards are. So that's where we know safety. Safety cannot be told by good old Google, just like the internet can't tell us whether or not we have enough strawberry protein shakes. Because in order to determine whether an ingredient or the ingredient used within a product is safe, you have to understand the form of use. Remember I was talking about different forms of ashwagandha, different forms of pea protein, um, different forms of the uh, go-to cola. You have to understand the form of use, the amount in the formula, the combination of how that ingredient reacts with the other ingredients that it's used for, and the form of use of the product overall. Once you have all of that information together and you're able to understand it, only then can you determine ingredient and product safety. And Google doesn't know that information. That's where you can come to us. We'll give you the straight answer. You can plug the question of the ingredient into the source. It'll come up with the answer that you can share. If it's not there, we'll get you the answer and we'll add it to our FAQ so that it becomes an ever-growing, hopefully hands-on tool for you guys. Thank you, Michelle. That looks like the last of the questions. Uh, so Michelle, would you like to end by saying anything else? Yes. I just have to say one thing. You guys, this whole collection of launch and everything that we've ever done has built up to our new mind body skin trademark people have asked why are we not using pure safe beneficial anymore we will always be pure safe beneficial it's what we were founded on it's what i was just talking about with the ingredient policy and the testing but what is different that sets us apart now in a very competitive world is the complete approach holistically to overall well-being beyond wellness mind mind, body, and skin. Your brains control everything that happens in your body from digestion to breathing to thinking to your perception. Everything is controlled through the brain. We have products to support our neurological and cognitive functions, mind health, now the fabulous inner calm, even sleep spray that helps support your body's ability to relax, restore, and rejuvenate. Fizz sticks that help support neurological function with energy. We've always had these products, but now it's time to focus on that. And then from the inside, my God, we talked about the Skin Elixir Digestion Plus, which supports the body's ability to digest and make all of these other ingredients more bioavailable. 
all of that is incredible, helping your body to nourish the skin from the inside out. Because all of the most wonderful topical products and Super Calm and RE9 and all of our other things are incredible and efficacious, they can only get to the outer layer of the skin, fancy name the epidermis. Don't know why anybody calls it that, but that's the only way that they can get. They're not medical grade, so they don't get beyond that. To get to all of the other layers of the skin, you have to nourish it from the inside. So you literally should never have one without the other to get the most efficacious results. And when you combine it holistically with support for your mind, you guys, there's nobody else out there that can do that. That is what sets us apart. So that's why now trademark mind, body, skin.